Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 12th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and while we slept last night, somebody opened the freezer door. Along with some nice rain with, uh, at least at my house, I had two-thirds of an inch. Well, let's get right to some SkyCam imagery this morning. There's a look at Montevallo as we look at this, the uh, little break in the clouds right there as uh, the rain seems to be headed out. And then how about let's getting in the Christmas spirit here. There's a look at Clanton and some of the Christmas lights in downtown Clanton. Cold front came through as we uh, were expecting with a, a little threat of severe weather down in southern Mississippi and Louisiana, uh, but that threat did not extend up here. And of course, uh, that storm system producing a great deal of weather all the way from New England across the Great Lakes and down into the mid-Mississippi River Valley. And of course, along with that storm system in the upper atmosphere, we have a very significant uh, closed low aloft with a very deep trough extending down into the northern Gulf area. And that is what is allowing the um, freezer door to be opened. And look at those values up there in central Canada in the minus 30 values with 20-degree uh, values reaching all the way down to Memphis and the uh, uh, Lubbock area. So uh, very, very cold air. Uh, we're still uh, fairly mild this morning. Uh, fortunately, we've uh, stayed above freezing, and therefore the threat of black ice this morning has not been quite as bad from that lingering precipitation. Uh, but uh, you notice that we, uh, we have values ranging all the way from 43 at Anniston over to 34 at Tuscaloosa as that cold air is just coming in. And that system is creating a great deal of havoc across all of uh, the eastern two or the eastern third at least of the country uh, with lots of uh, winter weather advisories and a lot of that brown area is actually a wind advisories uh, because of the uh, gusty winds that we're going to be experiencing <coughs> excuse me fighting a cold unfortunately uh, precipitation <clears throat> is pretty much over for us uh, with the possibility of a few snow flurries uh, in this cold air. But the next uh, pre precip chance uh, comes in the uh, Wednesday, Thursday time frame for us. All right, here's the 060 GFS model run. <clears throat> ah, again, excuse me. The 060 GFS model run, and you can see the cold air plunging down into the central Gulf Coast. With those thickness values and wraparound moisture is going to keep us cloudy today. <coughs> In the upper atmosphere tomorrow morning or tomorrow noontime, you can see that tremendous fetch from central Canada all the way down into uh, central Florida. And that is uh, going to mean a pretty significant uh, cold event for uh, Florida, for central and north Florida, as well as, uh, of course, uh, much of the southeastern United States. By Tuesday, we're beginning to see a slight moderation, and I'm afraid on Monday we're probably not going to get out of uh, uh, the below freezing values. That is, the high for Birmingham is probably only going to be about maybe 31 or 32. But by Tuesday, we're beginning to see a little bit of moderation as the upper air pattern becomes a little more zonal. So we're going to go from a very, very deep high amplitude uh, trough uh, to uh, more of a zonal flow. Uh, by uh, Wednesday, and that means that uh, we'll also uh, be seeing moisture uh, that is coming in uh, from the western Gulf uh, as the high moves uh, a little bit to the east. So that brings in uh, the possibility of some clouds Wednesday and maybe an isolated uh, patch of rain or, or a small shower. Thursday, the flow is definitely zonal uh, with all the High amplitude features uh, well away from the southeastern U.S., but we're still going to stay relatively cool, but uh, with the high positioned over central Florida, that's going to bring moisture our way. So Thursday looks like the best chance to get uh, some additional precipitation, but I don't think this is going to be a rain event like we just experienced. The flow stays zonal on Friday, but notice... Western Great Lakes area, we have a, a very uh, uh, strong short wave that is headed uh, into the into the flow, into the mix here. And uh, while we stay uh, kind of partly cloudy on Friday with maybe an isolated shower possible, 
By Saturday, that system is beginning to dig back down into our area. We're, we're going to be dry because this system looks like it's going to be uh, pretty well starved for moisture. And by Sunday, we're back into the deep freeze again. Maybe not quite as cold as this event, but certainly uh, somewhat chilly again, as you can see the 540 line uh, on the surface chart depicted getting down into uh, or edging near the uh, Georgia-Florida border. All right, so it's going to be cold. Uh, that's the bottom line. So how does voodoo country look? Well, looking around the 21st, holy mackerel, man, that's cold again too with uh, <laughs> uh, such a such a high amplitude uh, trough over the eastern uh, coast of the United States. And then how about Christmas Day? It looks like Christmas Day is also going to be cold, and at least right now it looks like a uh, good possibility it'll be dry but cold. Well, thanks for tuning in to the uh, Weather Extreme uh, video and putting up with the effects of my cold. Sorry about that, but when you got a cough, you got a cough. I hope that you have a great Sunday, and I expect James Spann to be back with the next edition of the Weather Extreme video first thing tomorrow morning. In the meantime, have a great day. Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.